Okay, before I get into this video, uh, thanks for 8,000 subscribers, and, uh, Happy New Year's. Yeah, like, sorry for my trashy upload schedule. As you can see my most recent upload, I ran out of ideas. So, like, mm, I'm gonna upload now. I guess I'm gonna do FNAF lore videos. I don't know, because I don't really have the motivation to keep doing those animations that I did. But, yeah, anyways, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 lore. Many people say that, oh, FNAF 4 is so confusing. How am I supposed to understand that? Well, I understand it because I've put hours of research into FNAF lore. And I am a very uh, skilled FNAF florologist. Anyways, uh, FNAF 4 lore. Alright, so first things first. Who do we play as in FNAF 4? As in, when I'm, when I'm saying that, I'm talking about the, the night segment part. Like when we're fighting off those nightmares. Well, I have lots of evidence to prove that... It's not the crime child who has the nightmares. Okay, so first things first, the Five Nights at Freddy's Survival Logbook. Now, there's a bunch of people who, who think that the Survival Logbook isn't canon because it's a book, even though it is a, a canon thing. Like, they confuse those, the book, they confuse the book series with the logbook when the logbook is actually canon. The logbook is written by Scott Coffin, and Scott Coffin put put a bunch of lore hints inside the logbook so inside the logbook i forgot what page this but there is a page where the faded text aka cassidy asks michael hey do you have any have you had any recent dreams and then yeah michael just straight up draws nightmare forever like i don't think we get a more straight uh, confirmation than that but if you still don't believe me i'll even give you more proof that it's Michael having the nightmares and not the crying child, his little brother. So, in FNAF 4, it is the gameplay is very, very similar to Five Nights at Freddy's 1. You know, we play as Mike in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Since the logbook confirmed that, now, let me explain. So, the similarities, Bonnie comes from the left, Chica comes from the right, Foxy attacks from some type of like, well, it's not really a cove, it's a closet, but like, they're similar, like, you have to watch Fox, you have to keep track of them, and make sure he come after you. And Freddy, he attacks from the darkness. Plus, there is a purple shirt inside the closet, and a gray shirt inside the dresser. I don't even, is that a shirt? It could be some other closet, but it seems like a gray shirt, because it's really just out in the open. And not only that, we get to know what time the FNAF 4 nightmares take place. So, in the, during the nightmares, there is actually an Easter egg where you will hear a distorted version of the FNAF 1 phone call. Now, because of this, we know that the nightmares take place in 1993 to 2023, somewhere between that time when Michael is at FNAF 1 to the point where he dies. So, because of that, that pretty much makes it impossible for the crime child to have nightmares, since he died a decade before 1993 in 1983. So, yeah. Like... There is some other things in the FNAF 4 Nightmares that you could try to say it's the crime child. Like, oh, why is there an IV bag and flowers at the bed? Well, from what I think, those nightmares are driven by guilt from what he did to the crime child back in 83. Like, maybe he's seeing those because he remembers sitting at the side of the bed and watching the crime child die. Okay, so now we're moving on to the mini games. I don't really know what to say about the mini games. Like, the mini games, they just... They kind of happen, like, we know that the Fred Bear and Friends TV show confirms that they take place in 1983. I think that's it. They take place in 1983, the minigames. I don't think there's really much to theorize about here. So yeah, now we're going to be moving on to the Halloween edition, I guess. In the Halloween edition, we know that it's not canon. Scott said that. But Balloon Boy, Nightmare Balloon Boy is canon after that it's just mm -hmm. like there is that box that appeared at the end of FNAF 4 after you beat off Nightmare I don't know what's in there like from a interview Donko would have with Scott Coffin Scott says that the contents of the box have changed for years and uh, 
I, I don't I don't have the slightest clue what's in there. Okay, so in conclusion, Michael Afton, the older brother, is the one who has the nightmares. We play as Evan in those mini games. It's just location. In that private room, we play in 1983. It confirms that the nightmare room is real. It's real. So, as we've seen, we the proof of given. Michael Afton is having the nightmares. So, that seems to be Michael's room. But why did it, people think that the nightmare room was Evans? They literally look nothing alike. Plus, on that little sis location, uh, the sis location control module, it shows that Evans' room and that nightmare room are in two separate locations. They are not the same, they are different. Plus, in Midnight Motors, we see that Evans' room has windows, and Nightmare Room don't got no windows. So yeah, in conclusion, the Nightmare Room, that's Michael's room. And, uh, I don't know, that's what I have for. Gosh, I hope that my channel isn't dead. Because I want to make it to 10,000 subscribers, man. If we want to. Please sub.